welcome to Rocky Railway Virtual VBS. My name is Mrs. Carr and I'm excited to be riding the rails with you this week, even though things are going to be a little different than the way we've done VBS in the past. But I'm so excited that you're here with me starting your day right here at Sing and Play Express. Each day we're going to learn some new songs and probably sing a few familiar ones as we celebrate that Jesus' power pulls us through life's ups and downs. So today we're going to jump right into our first song. This first song is actually our theme song for VBS this year and it's called Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Each day we're going to do this song because it is our theme, but we're going to learn a little bit of it together each day as we learn that Jesus' power pulls us through. But since today is your first time probably hearing this song, what we're going to do is we're just going to stand up, we're going to get excited, and we're going to do our best to learn this song and show God's power. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. we trust, we trust, we trust in you. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope. what it would be like to be on a journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, beautiful Rocky Mountains. A long time ago, trains were the fastest way to travel when you had to go a far distance or go up really big hills. Not many people have ridden on steam trains like this anymore. Well, have you ever ridden on a train? Steam trains get their power from steam engines. Imagine a steam engine is like a tea kettle. When the water inside boils, it pushes steam through a hole and it whistles. Pretty cool, huh? Well, inventors figured out a way to capture that steam and turn it into power. Enough power for a train to pull thousands and thousands of pounds over tall, rocky mountains. 
Trains have the power to cross miles and miles of deserts carrying things like people and things that we need. Well, this week, we'll discover a special kind of power that you and I have. We have Jesus' power right here, ready to help us do important things. Maybe when you think of power, you think of superheroes who have awesome superpowers. Or maybe that word power makes you think of someone who has really big muscles. Well, strong muscles and superpowers are things we usually think of when we hear about power. But God has more power than either of those. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by speaking. God has the power to love and forgive, comfort and heal. God is even more powerful than death. And Jesus, God's very own son, has that same power too. Well, this week, we'll be talking about how you can use and trust Jesus' power to help us every day. And later in the week, we'll hear about the life-saving power of Jesus' blood. Each day, we'll learn a Bible point, an important truth from the Bible to remember. And today, we'll explore how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. And that's our Bible point. Today, whenever you hear someone say, Jesus' power helps us do hard things, you're going to say, trust Jesus. And as you say that, you're going to put your hand up and pull it down like you're pulling a train whistle. Well, we need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull us through when life gets tough. Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4 verse 13. Christ is another name for Jesus, and Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! He gives us the strength that we need to power through sadness, confusion, or mad feelings. All week long, we'll get to know our Bible memory buddies who will help us remember our Bible point. All of our buddies are animals that have or could be found by the Rocky Mountains. So let's take a look at our first Bible buddy, whose name is Ramsey. Hey there, friends. Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough 
because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Whenever you see Ramsey, remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus, because he strengthens us. Well, you guys are on your way to Bible Adventure, but as you go, we're going to sing the song, Everywhere I Go, to remember how Jesus' power is always with us through every rocky time. And I'll see you back here in a little bit.
to our next stop, Bible Adventures. Each day, we will dive deeper into God's Word to hear how God pulls us through life's ups and downs. Plus, I've invited some of my friends to share God's Word with you the rest of the days this week. But for today, you guys are all mine. Well, today we are talking about doing things that seem hard. We all have things that are hard for us to do. Jobs that seem too big or stuff that just seems too complicated to even try. When you run into something like that, remember today's point. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. I can remember a time I had something hard to do. It was this one time when... Uh, Ananias? What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm hiding. Uh, hiding from who? From everyone. Well, that's not gonna work. Stand up. Go over here. Tell me, what's going on exactly? Who exactly are you hiding from? It's Saul. He's here in Damascus to arrest anyone who loves Jesus. And I love Jesus. Ooh. Wow. Uh, I, I guess He's thrown you... lots of friends into prison, and he's here in Damascus. So, I guess you heard or haven't heard about what's been happening? About or? how Jesus appeared to Saul and how a bright light shone around Saul and it, he heard mm -hmm. Jesus' voice and then Saul fell on the ground and then he was blind and, you know, his buddies left him here in Damascus. Yeah, I heard all that. <laughs> so, why are you hiding? And why are you wearing that silly mustache? It's a disguise. <laughs> Ow! Mmm, thanks, you've blown my cover. Trust me, it wasn't working. Well, God came to me in a vision this morning and told me I should go to Straight Street, and when I got there to ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. Wow! And then I should place my hands on Saul and pray for him so Saul will be able to see again. So, why are you here instead of doing what God asked you to do then? Because when Saul is able to see, guess what he's going to see? Me! And Saul arrests Christians and hurts them and throws them in jail. Why is God asking me to do such a hard thing? Ananias, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Okay. But this is a really hard thing. A super hard thing. And I'm not sure I can do it. Have you ever had something hard to do and you weren't sure you could do it? It's easy to talk about trusting Jesus, but what does it really feel like to trust him? Have you ever done something called a trust fall? You mean when you fall backwards into someone's arms, trusting them with your life? <laughs> yeah, I know what that is. Well, that feeling is the same feeling we get when we are asked to do hard things. So, you know what God has asked you to do, but I also hope you know that you're not alone. We all face hard things, but Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Now all that's left is for you to go and do what you need to do. Are you ready? Well, um... You've got this. Because God's got this. Trust Him. I've got this. I don't got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Well, I think he's got this. And I hope we find out how things end up for Ananias. But you guys are now off to Kid Vid Cinema, and I will see you guys there. Welcome to Kid Vid Cinema, where we will discover more about Jesus' power this week. You know, it's pretty cool when we get to watch these videos, because we're actually watching for God. The kids in these videos are real kids just like you, and Jesus' power helps them just like Jesus' power can help you. Well, today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Well, in today's video, you'll meet a friend named Dominic who loves to do karate. Does anyone know what karate is? Well, it's a sport that focuses on self-control while it strengthens your body and your mind. 
It involves special kicks and movements that may seem hard to do. As you watch today's videos, be on the lookout for hard things that Dominic has to learn. Take a look. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm gonna break this board. It's an obstacle in my way and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't gonna pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm gonna pass this and I didn't. Failed and I failed and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse 13, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. What a cool video. Dominic sure has some hard things to do to be successful at karate. Well, Jesus is always with us, and he knows about every hard thing that we face. Dominic works hard because he loves to do karate. Some parts of practicing aren't very fun. But Dominic knows that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Sometimes we miss out on something fun because we're afraid to try it. We're afraid it's too hard or that, well, we'll fail. And other times we may just be in a situation that we don't really know how to face at all. A situation that's just plain hard, like moving away from family or friends. But I know a verse in the Bible that can help us no matter what kind of hard things that we're facing. This verse has helped me on many occasions in many different times in my life, and I can't wait to share it with you. From Philippians 4 verse 13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus. What a great verse for today. When we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things, trust Jesus. We can remember that this verse and be reminded that Jesus helps us. He gives us the strength so that we can get through things because Jesus gives us that strength and power that we need. 
even though we all face different situations and have different hard things to do, Jesus' power never ever changes. Jesus is with us all the time and his strength and power are always there for us. I don't know about you, but that is an amazing promise. Let's thank Jesus right now. Fold your hands by your head and you can repeat after me. Dear Lord, we believe your promises and we believe that we can do everything through Christ who gives us strength. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, you guys are off to Imagination Station to make your very first gizmo with Shannon from Rocky Railway. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Welcome to Imagination Station. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to see what incredible things we'll discover about Jesus' power this week. We're going to have so much fun together. But before we get started, I need to ask you something. Who brought their imagination today? I was worried you might forget your imagination since this is the first day of EBS. So, I was talking to my friend Ramsey. I think you met my friend Ramsey earlier, right? Well, Ramsey is a bighorn sheep, and he told me that him and his friends love living in the Rocky Mountains. The mountains are so beautiful, and the scenery is so spectacular. But Ramsey said that sometimes it's kind of hard to live in the mountains, especially in the winter when it snows. That's when Ramsey's sure-footed feet come in handy. Ramsey's feet help him do hard things, like walk on slippery, snowy mountains. Even when it snows, Ramsey knows that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! There, that's better. I think your imaginations are up and running now. And that's a good thing, because each day at Imagination Station, you'll get to be part of fun activities and experiments that help us discover more about Jesus' power. And you'll get to play with an awesome, sciencey fun gizmo every day. We'll get to our first activity in a minute. But first, I have another question for you. How long do you think it takes a baby bighorn sheep to be able to walk and climb as well as its mother? Does it take six weeks or one day? Think about that and decide on your answer.
Okay, I need a loud drum roll before I reveal the answer. Make a drum roll with me. And the answer is, a baby bighorn can walk and climb as well as its mother within just one day. Imagine that. Let's get back on track. Grab some paper and a marker to make your own train tracks. Draw a train track from one end of the paper to the other. You can draw mountains and trees, streams if you want, and curve it through the Rocky Mountains. You can even add fun stickers if you have some. I'll give you a moment, have fun. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. You know, sometimes we all have to do hard things, and we may not understand why. We may not be able to control what's happening. Our lives seem to be going in all different directions. Let's see what that's like. This is my off-rail roller. Go ahead and grab your off-rail roller pieces and I'll lead you through how to put it together. To assemble your off-rail roller, first lay out all of the pieces. You should have two black circular pieces. One has a flat side, the other has a bump in the middle. You'll have two straws, a long straw and a short straw, a rubber band and a paper clip from home. The first step is to thread the rubber band through the paper clip. This paper clip is going to act as a needle. It should look like this. Take the black piece with the bump on the outside and using the paper clip, thread the rubber band through the hole. You should have the rubber bands coming out one side and a paper clip coming out the other. Grab your large straw and pull it through the rubber band. Using the paper clip, 
pull until the straw is flat against the outside and stays in place. Then take the other black piece, the flat circle. Use the paper clip to thread again through the hole. Push the two black pieces together until they snap in the middle. Then pull the paper clip and the rubber band apart. Be sure to keep one finger in the rubber band so you can thread the short straw. When you're finished, it should look just like this. A long straw on the side with a bump and a short straw on the flat side. Now pick up your off-rail roller, holding the short side in your hand, wind the long straw. Do it several times. The more you wind it, the longer it will go. And we're off the rails. Take a few minutes and experiment with your off-rail roller. You might want to try it on some different surfaces. You could even try to keep it on your paper track. After a few minutes, you'll hear the train whistle when it's time to come back. Have fun! Take your off-rail roller and put it inside a baggie. If you happen to have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's Bible point that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! All right, that's it for today. We'll see you back again next time at Imagination Station. and welcome back to the station and to our very first Rocky wrap up. Each day we'll wrap up the tremendous trip on the tracks that we've been on together. Bighorn sheep like Ramsey are custom made to travel up steep mountains. When you see Ramsey, you can remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! To help you remember all these important Bible points and verses this week, we have a very special gift for you every single day. Your very own Bible Memory Buddies. They're so cool and there's even an app that you can download with your parents' help that lets you play a game with the buddies. Each day you can punch out your buddy and the Bible verse that's on the back and add it to the clip that's in your at-home take-home kit um, to remember our adventure this week.
Today's verse comes from Philippians 4 verse 13 and it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. So go ahead and add Ramsey to your clip. I just came back from seeing Saul. So you weren't too afraid to go see Saul? I was, but then you reminded me that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. So what exactly happened? Well, I found the house and went in, and there was Saul. He hadn't eaten for three days, mm -hmm. but he was still scary. So what did you do? I said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road, sent me so you could get your sight back and be filled with the Holy Spirit. I put my hands on his shoulders, and bam! These weird, scaly things fell off his eyes, and he could see again. But that's incredible. I know. And then he was baptized and had something to eat. And I came here to let you all know how it turned out. Well, it sounds like God has some pretty, pretty big plans for Saul. Just like he has big plans for everyone here. Mm. And we can do it too. Because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! Well, I have to run. Thanks for all your help, friends. Thanks, Ananias, and thanks for letting us know how it all turned out.
Great job, everyone! In your at-home VBS kit, you also have a Tracking with Jesus booklet. Each day it has a review story of our Bible adventure so that you don't forget to look at Ananias' story before you hit the hay tonight. I think it'll make a pretty good bedtime story. Well, we have had a great first day here at Rocky Railway, and we have come to our final song. Thank you for celebrating Jesus' power with me. I can't wait until tomorrow for another day of adventure, discovery, and excitement with you all. I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.